You guys ready for a prediction? So we just got to have our, our team monthly all hands meeting. And one of the things that I mentioned to the team is that I have this firm belief that we as leaders and as a society will make three years progress in three months. And out of sheer necessity, I mean, you're already seeing a lot of this take place, but if you, if you dial things back and you look at what, what we've been dealing with over the last several weeks, when I mean, you've got a global shutdown, a quarantine, you have this new challenge. And really this is a new experience for a lot of people, uh, for pretty much everyone but it's also the reality of things, okay? So because this is presenting a lot of difficulties, it's also forcing us as a society and as leaders and as organizations to be creative and innovative more so than ever before. Now, this is a powerful thing if you're an entrepreneur because now you've been put in a position where you're used to solving problems and challenges and now you have to solve this one in order to be able to grow and adapt. So this creates what is called progress. And the reason why I believe we'll make such incredible progress, so three years and three months, is through sheer innovation and adaptation. So like we, for example, we're already seeing this uh, amongst law firms in the legal industry. So the, the way firms have adopted new technology and how they're communicating with clients and team members and how they're working remotely. Also in terms of how they're working with the legal system. I think a lot of that uh, technology that's been put in place, think about how long that would have taken if it were not for an event like this. So because of that, businesses are getting better. They're leaning more towards automation. They're leaning more towards systemization, all those different things. Um, I put out a question yesterday to, uh, to many of our clients, and you know, I asked these guys who, who are some of the most successful law firm owners in the nation, like, what are you doing during this time? What are some of the lessons that you've learned? Um, and I'll share with you some of the things that came back. Number one, it was, there's a huge focus on increasing visibility for their business, for their firm. Uh, creativity is what's creating relevance. Uh, and I got to give credit to, to John Baer who shared that. And, and it's so true. The firms that are the most creative right now are also going to be the ones that are the most relevant now and likely into the future. Uh, we were talking about automation and new systems. This, is, this represents efficiencies that can be improved in organizations, ways in which you can do more with less. And the automation that you do today, the systemization, even focusing on improving processes is going to pay dividends into the future. Uh, the other things that came back was just the, the importance of being decisive and giving your team hope and also doubling down on culture. So as, as we know, working remotely and moving a team remotely requires a degree of trust. So you've got to lead with empathy and the organizations that have the strongest cultures are going to be the ones that have largely the, the greatest amount of trust and are the most successful working in different environments so that you realize the importance of that right now. Um, and then finally, I'll say, and this one came up, this is a resounding one that came up, it's having the humility to admit that you need guidance and asking for help. You know, I know a lot of strong leaders that say, I got it under control, I got it all together. And how, how can you, if you have, you know, we all have the same degree of uncertainty, unless you're, you know, um, you can predict the future or you've got a crystal ball or you, you know, you're a card reader or whatever it is, you, you know, but the nature of it is, is we don't know what tomorrow is going to look like. We don't know what a week from now is going to look like or a month from now is going to look like or six months from now is going to look like. So having the humility to admit times when you need guidance, when you need help and asking for help whether it's through mentors, whether it's through other law firm owners, whether it's through um, other like legal groups of, of ambitious law firm owners, like this is the time to lean on that without a doubt, because you don't have to have all the answers, but the power of community, I think has never, has never been stronger. So if you do this the right way, and if you look at this, we always, we always talk about being proactive, but if you look at this as an opportunity to make your business and your team better and to focus on creativity and innovation, you might find that you will have made three years progress in these three months. And I'd love to hear some of the things that you're doing to make progress right now. So shoot me a text, 404-531-7691. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, not only you know, do I hope you're hanging in there, because that's such a you know, uh, uh, weak thing to say. You know, I, hope, I think we're all hanging in there. How you doing? Phenomenal. But more importantly, I hope that you're making great progress and that you're more optimistic than ever because the firms that are, and this is a matter of perspective, are going to come out the strongest.